Well, good morning. Today is Monday, January 2nd, 2023. A brand new year, a brand new start, all of that good stuff. Um, if you don't watch my daily vlog, I've been battling a bug of some sort. Um, I don't have COVID and I don't have the flu, so I don't know what I have, but it's annoying. I know that much. It's just annoying. But um, last week I had told you we were going to change it. The, I was going to change it up a little bit for this year. And my first original plan was that I was not going to share my weight with you. I was not going to share whether I gained or lost. And uh, because I just thought that that was kind of holding me back. But uh, the more I thought about it, and I really dwelled on it, I guess is the good word for it. I dwelled on it all week. And I thought, no, because then I'm not going to be holding myself accountable. Because nobody wants to tell anybody what they weigh. I don't know how much you weigh. I don't know how much you've lost or gained unless you tell me. But uh, I'm an open book. I've let you know every week how I'm doing. Um, I was really kind of apprehensive about getting on the scale today because, um, you know, the old adage, starve a cold, feed a fever. Or is it feed a cold, starve a fever? I was thinking feed a cold, starve a fever because I was eating like there was no tomorrow all last week. I was trying to get back to my healthy eating habits because I do find that when I eat healthier, I don't get sick like this. I haven't been sick like this. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't, I really couldn't tell you. Uh, I think it's probably since I stopped eating so healthy. But anyway, back on track today, deciding that I'm going to share everything with you. The only thing different I'm going to do a little bit this year is I am going to continue to show you how I did each week as far as how much I lost because I'm going to lose every week or stay the same. I'll probably have a gain somewhere in there, but I'm, I'm trying to think positively that that's not going to happen. My word for the year is fierce. I'm going to hit this fierce. And uh, I'm just de so determined. Um, check out my daily vlog. It'll be posted uh, today on January 2nd, probably about 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, might be a little bit earlier. I don't know. But um, I did do a record of how I've done every year since I've joined Weight Watchers. And let me tell you, it was eye-opening. <laughs> it was eye-opening, which led into my decision to share my weight because I worked on that yesterday. But... That's on the other video, so you have to go over there to check that out. But uh, so far, how did I do this week? I wanted to start off the, the new year at least staying the same. Just at least staying the same. So very apprehensively, I got on the scale this morning, and this is the results. I lost 1.4. I don't know how that happened. I am not going to... Rest on that, thinking, oh, well, you know what? You ate like fool last week and you lost 1.4. It's just my body probably fighting extra hard because of my sickness just to uh, to really get me healthier, I guess. I don't know. But I have a total loss of 52.2. Like I said, I'm going to discuss my goals and plans for the year on my other channel. I don't want to go into it right here, right now. So uh, anyway, let's... Oh, another thing is I'm going to leave a link down below. I know people are having a hard time finding the meeting highlights and if I had an egg or if you had an egg if you had an egg did a quick like a minute and a half tutorial video and I'll share her link in the description box down below uh, it shows you how you can get the link how you can get the meeting highlights each week on the connect app uh, I was talking you know texting back and forth with uh, a Weight Watcher coach and um, they have gotten many 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 of I can't even too many complaints about how they've moved it and how people don't like it and how they've made it harder. So uh, they said they're working on repairing that damage that they've done. So, but um, check out the video. Also, I found the highlights this week. Once again, I apologize for my voice. I'm, my voice sounds a lot better than it has. I'll give you that. But um, you can go to www.com slash, or is that underscore? Uh, www underscore weekly topics. And uh, that'll bring up the, the, that's where I got them. So um, this week is on how to build a tracking routine. Uh, I did make a different, little bit difference in my other, in my daily thing. Um, I did uh, plan a menu for the week. So if you want to see what I'm planning on eating, um, check out that video. But anyway, it says, pop quiz. What are three things you do every day without thinking? Maybe it's brushing your teeth, making the bed, or checking your email. 
to reap the weight loss benefits of tracking, make it just another part of your routine. Um, those are all the same things that I do every morning. I just, I, I really do, excuse me. I'm trying to drink hot tea to kind of like, you know, feel better. But anyway, um, so they ask you, which tracking style makes it feel easier for you? Tracking an entire day's food or once or as you go. Saving often track foods and meals or tracking them from scratch every time. Or tracking before or during or after you eat. For me, the way I've done it in the past, which if you watch my video over in the other one, you'll see that didn't really work last year is I just planned for the day. I, I got up in the morning and I thought, this is what I'm going to have for breakfast, this is what I'm going to have for dinner, because I didn't eat lunch. Um, I think I overate on my breakfast and I overate on my dinner, and I had too much food at one time, and so my body had a hard time processing it. It's very difficult for me to eat three meals. Um, I don't go to bed till 2 or 3 in the morning. I am like one of these old people that I'm like, I don't describe a normal old person. Old people usually go to bed early. You know, I'm not... That's just the way it, I heard it. I don't know. I very rarely get in bed before 2 o'clock. Uh, I wake up about 9, and then I just lay in bed for about an hour playing games on my phone, checking my emails, all of these things that are just natural to me that I just do naturally every day. And then I usually don't eat my first meal until 1 or 1.30, and that's a hefty meal. And then I eat dinner about 6, 7 o'clock. So um, my plan is to try to, to get a breakfast, lunch, and dinner in and uh, see if that makes a difference. Um, I have tracked meals that I've kept. I, I keep a journal, so uh, I can go back to the journal to see how I'm doing on that. And um, and I have like in my recipes that I've made in my in my app that I can check out and do that. I um, I always track before, but I I never track after. I because I kind of want to know what I'm having beforehand. When I don't track, I either track before or I don't track at all. So um, obviously not tracking at all led to my demise in 2022. So um, we can't do that anymore. So they're asking you what strategies have worked. Taking pictures of your meals to track later. When I was showing you my meals, that made a difference for me because I had to consciously show you what I was eating. And if I had too much on the plate, I'd be embarrassed. So I'm getting back to that. Um, tracking at a certain time of the day. No, I think that tracking as I'm going along, as I'm preparing each meal. Uh, like I said, I prepared a menu plan for the whole week, so I kind of know what I'm going to have. But I'm going to track it in the phone just to remind myself this is how many points I'm going to eat this particular meal. I use that barcode bar bar scanner all the time. Uh, it's a life it's a life saving device. It really is. Even when I'm shopping, if I'm deciding between two different things, I'll scan them just to see the points. And uh, it really does help me. It really does. And sometimes if I want to, like, inch it up a little bit more and take more than a little bit of a normal serving size, um, it'll either slap me into reality or it'll make me realize that, you know what, I, I guess I can. I have found that if you weigh in grams, you do get a little bit more um, food. But, uh, you know, the points don't change. So, um, you know, the United States, I think, is the only country in the world that's not following the rest of the world. <laughs> We're just going to our own drummer, I guess. And use the quick add feature to guesstimate points. I, I've never used that, so I don't know anything about it. Using your answers above, determine how you create a tracking routine. I'll track meals and snacks as I go, and I'll use the barcode scanner, save favorites, and guesstimate points when needed. Um, sometimes I think what they mean by the guesstimate is like, you might go to a certain restaurant and it's not listed in the app. But whatever you're ordering is kind of similar to your favorite restaurant. So you can kind of track it and guesstimate how much it would be. Like I like going to this pancake house that's by us. Um, they're not on my app. But like I can go to the uh, IHOP app and see the exact same breakfast and see that it's pretty much close to the same amount of points. So that helps me out too. And then they ask you when is the best time to track. Um, I'll set aside a few minutes after each meal. No, I set my I do it before I eat. I, I track it before I eat. So this, this starting this week, I'm going to start filming again. So I want you to know exactly how many points I'm having as I'm eating it. So that's my plan. Let's dive a little deeper. We talk a lot about tracking. And if you're around here, welcome. Get ready to hear a lot about it because the science is crystal clear. People who track more often lose more weight. Why? Because tracking makes you aware of what and how much you're eating. And awareness is key to making small but meaningful changes. 2022, I kept thinking I could go back to like a 
normal person and just eat what I wanted to eat, look at it and know whether or not that was too much. And then slowly but surely, my tablespoon got to be a tablespoon and a half and then two, two tablespoons. And then my half a cup of oatmeal eh, kind of got to be like maybe a third of a cup of oatmeal, two thirds of a cup of oatmeal rather, and then like a little bit more. So um, you have to track. You just definitely have to track. What's tricky is that tracking takes time and effort, and we humans are more likely to do stuff that's easy. So leaning into what makes tracking feel seamless for you helps you stick with it. So here's some other training hacks. Set guidelines and reminders. For example, if you track after every meal, open the app as soon as you clean your plate. For all at once trackers, try setting an alarm on your phone for a time that works for you. Um, I'm never going to set an alarm. I told you I have a hard enough time thinking that I can't eat like a normal person. I can eat like a normal person. I just have to get my mindset to that train of thought. But setting a, my alarm to remind me to do something um, just reminds me that uh, this is a job, and I don't. I I just I don't want to make it a job. I wanted to make it my lifestyle. So that's not going to work for me. And forget perfection. Tracking consistently with fewer details is better than getting burned out trying to log every single bite, ingredient, and exact portion. That is so true because I think that if you get so overwhelmed with, oh, I got to track this, and oh, I, I ate three nuts, how many peanuts, you know, how many points are those, and, and stuff, you're going to slip up along the way. You really are. But um, just knowing the whole big picture of things, if, as long as you're tracking the majority of the food that you're eating, that uh, pretty soon you're going to get to tracking just about everything that you're eating. As you start this year, sharpening or creating habits around the most effective weight loss behaviors like tracking help paves your way to success. After all, we like things that are easy, right? A few focus goals feel a lot easier and more doable than attempting to make over your whole routine. That said it in a nutshell. I just think that uh, I have a plan. I'm going to follow my plan. I'm going to do it the best I can with my plan. And uh, I'm going to track. And um, I'm going to continue on, be fierce this year. And... Uh, just get to my goals. I want to get to my goals this year. So um, a 1.4 loss, which I was very happy with, 52.2 uh, total loss. I'm still happy with the 52.2 loss, but uh, I need to do better. I just need to do better. And I know I will do better, and I can do better. So um, how did you guys do? Have you guys picked a word for the year? Uh, does anybody else have this? bug that I have because I can't figure out what it is. It's just annoying is what it is. It's just annoying. Thankfully, I'm not sick. I just sound sick. Um, I don't have a fever. I, you know, I have a little bit of a cough. Obviously, I have a little bit of laryngitis. But um, I, I actually, it's not going to keep me. I think that the, this week eating healthy because I have a very healthy menu planned out for this week that is going to get me back on track being healthier this week. So, but if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. Stay with me this year. I know I've disappointed a lot of people. I've disappointed myself in 2022, but I plan on turning that all around in 2023 because fierce, that's what I'm going to be this year. Fierce. Talk to you soon.